1990 Toyota 4Runner 3.0 liter V6 and this video is for anyone looking for the factory original vacuum hose routing when you have no diagram this truck has all the original factory vacuum hoses intact never touched i'm about to do some intake manifold repairs on it so i'm taking this video it's going to be a little documentary video so i can document all my vacuum lines where everything's run what goes where what's it for you know, I might not go into full detail what everything's for because I don't always got that much time in the day. But I'm trying to get you guys as much information as I can, as much images as I can. So let's start off right here up front. And. We've got right here on top of the throttle body. See, we've got two lines running here. These usually have stars on them for whatever reason. You gotta check all of these. I don't believe any of these that I have seen have any orifice in them, but it happens, guys. There's some that have orifices in there. So, these two simple. This one here coming off of port right here goes right here runs down close to that little pipe down there like bam nice so then further over here follow those little pipes along and we got these two that run here this one here then we got the fuel pressure regulator over here Coming off right there. Another another line right here. Oof. We're gonna end up replacing that too. The fuel line section right there too. We're gonna do. I think it's a vacuum. Yeah, goes down to the manifold. Goes up under there. And all the way down under there. Now, let's follow back along the front of the motor over here. And we'll follow along over here. And uh, this is one of those Denso, I don't know, they call them like a ported vacuum switch or whatever. So you got your little line underneath there. Put them back right there. Two hoses over here if you follow on do the same two that we've been running and run all the way back over there so one runs on to the pipe under here from there to the pipe then you have from your EGR coming up from the pipe right there and then <clears throat> let's run along this side because now over here we have this three that are bunched together those three I'm focusing on there so those three are running here in this bundle right here along this side um, now you gotta watch out because you got another one right under there that's on the EGR. The EGR will follow along. Runs to over here. And that's on that port of that ported vacuum switch back there. It's right down there. And that's not the one I removed, but the one behind that. Now, this front one that I removed 
follow it along. Let's see. Through there, I still got my finger on it. Up, up. It's got the one way check valve going straight to the ported manifold vacuum. Now, off this manifold vacuum, also. Now, even though I'm jumping from the other one because this is simple weld right here. These off, goes up over here. This one runs under the line. They got this whole bundle of junk tape to it. Now it runs over there to the side, over there, and then connects over there for the uh, cruise control. So, I digress. Let's get back over here. So, let's get back to our bundle here. So, those three there. There's these three right here. This top top one will follow that one along that's this one right here mark number three that one comes here to the front of this ported vacuum switch and the back side of that ported vacuum switch right there comes out comes forward and comes to this pipe right here so that solves that mystery right there. And then uh, that, this one, which would be the bottom of that bundle, which is that one down, down under there that you can't see so well. That's this one that I've pulled out. And that one runs right down in between here to this second ported vacuum switch right there so so that one's EGR this one runs that second everyone there which if we follow along might actually come to the EGR. All right, now over here in our other bundle, if you follow our T there, our other bundle here comes over here, goes to this right here, goes to another. One way check valve up over here and to the inner fender well. I believe maybe run into a uh, vacuum canister in this inner fender well, but get you guys the video as much as I can. I'm not gonna pull the inner fender well apart. They just had some body work done, and I don't not up to that. So, did you guys a picture there? That one runs there. Those two run out there to the fender. Uh, I'm not gonna tear that apart to show where those run out there, but in here, so. Follow that along. These two other ones, which come right here off of these two ported vacuum switches, right here, run that bundle. I believe it's Ford four wheel drive. Goes down in this bundle down there. Runs down there, guys. I believe these are the two going for our, to lock the front, the front differential. So there you guys go, guys. 1990 Toyota Forerunner vacuum diagrams. Oh yeah, let's not forget, guys. So over here, underneath this bundle over here, there's. This vacuum line that came from over there across the back runs across back behind here, comes down, tees off right over here, goes.
Those two uh, ported vacuum switch there, I believe. Or I think that's just a vacuum sensor, sensor of some sort. And then uh, comes up for the vacuum on here and then goes back and forth to the motor. And that's our uh, cruise control, vacuum motor, whatever you want to call it. But there you have it, guys. I hope this helps anyone trying to route all their vacuum lines. Your other vacuum is, is this pipe right here that goes on the firewall for your manifold vacuum to the brakes. And if you follow that, all that along, that's this one that comes right over here. Goes there. Along the firewall. Okay. Other than that, guys, I think I got you your major, all your major vacuums and stuff. Um, these two here come in the middle of this bundle right here. And then you got your purge and your tank. Your purge goes right there, that line there. That's the line from your tank. And then the little line over here comes back down over here, which I believe is is this one over here. Because that's our purge. The purge comes in right there at the throttle body. So, and then don't forget, you got the oil, nasty oily one for the PCV, I think that is. I think that's a crankcase ventilation one or something. There's one on that side, but I'm not sure. That one's all oily, so I'm assuming. But there it is, guys. There's all your all your vacuums and everything. This is that other bigger one. This one loops down right here and goes right there to that vacuum right there on the firewall. Right there. So, all right, guys. 1990 Toyota 4Runner vacuum hoses, vacuum routing, whatever you want to call it. Hope this helps.